It's the big one. Let's go. Geeks was popping. WWE Ultimate Edition Andre the Giant. The one we've been waiting for. Seven feet, four inches tall. Renoble France is where he hails from. This finish is a double underhook suplex. Career highlight, WWE Champion. Standing over seven feet tall and weighing over 500 pounds, Andre the Giant was a superstar of mythical proportions, both inside the ring and in popular culture. His WrestleMania three match against Hulk Hogan helped make WWE a household name and proved why he's the eighth wonder of the world. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Three alternate head sculpts. That's bananas. He's got his Andre hand shirt from 89, I believe. 88, yeah, probably 89. Championship belt. And one, two, three extra sets of hands. Ultimate edition. Oh, look at all these good accessories. Now, what's crazy about those extra head sculpts, I literally recognize all three of those facial expressions. I think from 1988 to 1990, I watched every single episode of WWE TV. When it was on USA Network Saturday morning, I, I was addicted. That is a lot of plastic. Man, this is tight work. This is my favorite head sculpt. I don't remember what promo this is from, but I specifically remember when he made this face. It freaked me out as a kid. Like the Andre shirt. It's nice and silky and smooth. Doesn't really look like a t-shirt though, but we'll let it pass. Paint job is pretty good. Only thing I saw on his body that I'm not a big fan of, if you take the shirt off, the upper body seam here where he joins the shoulders, it's a little bit thick. And when he doesn't have his shirt on, the light hits it right, it almost appears white. Like you see there, how it kind of stands out. But if you're talented, you probably sand it down a little bit. Now, I don't remember this belt, and I don't remember when Andre held this belt. If I remember correctly, the first time he held the WWE Championship was that miscount with Hogan in 87 or 88. Can't remember. But whatever it is, I don't remember him having this belt, but I have to look it up. All right, got a nice stiff 360 at the head. A little bit of a tilt left, a little bit of a tilt right, good range looking down. He also looks up, but I have no idea what he's looking at back because he's so dang tall. Arms get up here high, huggy huggy nice and snuggy. Butterfly joints make the wingspan sick, fly like a bird. 360 at the shoulder, 360 at the bicep. 360 at the wrist. Vertical wrist hinges give you great rain. You get your repulsive blast and you get your kiss to the ring. Double jointed pinless elbows bring in the funk. Upper torso rocker gives him a little bit of a crunch. Generous on the woolly way back. Let some lean with it. Rock with it. And you can roll with it. You get a 360 up top. 360 at the waist. 360 at the thigh. 360 at the boot. And of course, no 360 at the foot. Big boy gives us a real generous split. Not much of a van damage. Bend over is shallow. Kick is shallow, but that's realistic. He didn't lift his legs very high in real life. Double jointed pin knees give you great range, especially for a character this size. Or figure, I should say. Ooh, Andre's going dancing. Dancing. Articulated toes only point up, not down. Time to find out if he's really seven foot four inches tall. Oh, great scale. He's seven and a half inches tall. And here he is lined up next to a bunch of other Ultimate Edition figures and Omos. He's not Ultimate Edition, but I put him there just because he's another giant. As you can see, the scale's a little bit off. Jake the Snake Roberts 
was 6'4", I think. Yeah, I think it was 6'4". But anyway, in the ring with Andre, Andre kind of towered over him. Here, it's a little bit too close for my taste. But I could be wrong because he looks really big compared to Razor Ramon, who was like 6'7". So I don't know. But he works. He's big. And he looks good. All right, so my only two complaints. That seam on his shoulders I talked about. And the head sculpts and the body don't go together. And I'm, let me say this carefully. I don't mean they don't look good together. I mean the time periods. The body, the belly is so slim. That's from early in his career, like late 70s, early 80s. But the head sculpts are from the later half of the 80s. So yeah, that's a little bit nitpicky, but in 87, 88, 89, he had a bigger belly than he did when he was wrestling earlier. And these head sculpts are clearly modeled on his later stages of life. But like I said, that's a nitpick. I really do love him. I think he's awesome. He's gonna look fantastic on the shelf. I have the Elite Edition of him that came out a few months ago. I haven't reviewed it yet. I'll try and pop him out soon and do a comparison for you guys. But let me know what you think in the comments. Is this the Andre you've been waiting for? I know he checks almost all the boxes in my book. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications. Let me know in the comments if you passed on him or if he's sitting on your shelf taking up space. All right, until next time, geek out.